Thank you so much for joining me for Real Change. This weekend is the most significant time in the world as we celebrate in some camps they call it the passover we call it easter in the world but it's the message of the passover that speaks to the fact that god so loved the world that he sent jesus to die on the cross to redeem mankind into fellowship and communion with him one of the most exciting events it was indeed the turning point of history so that History speaks of this person of Jesus Christ, either in B.C. or A.D., the power of the impact of Jesus. Why? Because Jesus is the Son of God who came into the world to enable man to be restored into fellowship with God. And that makes him the source of real change. When we think about real change, real change begins with you. Real change is not so much what happens on the outside in our external circumstances and the situations of life. And yes, that's elements of change and a lot of it we want to see more of good change, but really what is of greater import is what happens on our inside. Changing the way we think, changing what we believe so that it will affect how we act. Because if there is no internal change, there will be very little lasting, effective external change. Many people look at their personal lives and we look at our nation and we say not a lot is changing or it seems to be getting worse in so many areas. It's because there is no real change because it's not happening on the inside because when it happens on the inside and we have thinking change belief change then transformation takes place and we see the evidence in how we speak to each other in how we relate to each other in the things that we do i would like to challenge you over this season to do what it takes to experience real change so that life can become for you an exciting meaningful experience and if you have been transformed in your own life then become a transformer by giving yourselves to assist others in the process of real change not mere cosmetic makeovers but real change that happens deep within the heart in the soul of man that will cause him to become a new person in his life that's why jesus came into the world that's what the message of passover of this easter season is about it is about the fact that man was trapped by sin what is sin it is simply disobedience to the wise instructions of god on how to live successfully and when we disobey those instructions then sin is what happens and sin has trapped man because there is this inclination towards disobeying the instructions of God and doing our own thing and when we get caught up and trapped in doing our own thing then it is that which allows the chaos and the evil in our world. If we were to follow the instructions of Jesus Christ, which is, which is love one another and love your neighbor as you love ourselves, I'm sure you would agree with me that in an atmosphere of genuine love for one another, we would never have the world in which we live today. The injustices that overtake our society, that cause pain and hurt and frustration and brings about poverty and sickness and all the effects of our rebellion against the ways of God would never be there had we not become 
become trapped by this tendency that grabs a hold of our inside to go our own way in opposition to the ways of God. But it is for this that Jesus came. He died to defeat this power to, of, that would cause us to want to drift the other way. And by his death, he overcame the power of this influence so that he could then teach us how we too can conquer sin, evil that destroys our lives. How did he do it? He did it fundamentally by whereas man when he destroyed himself by sin, it was disobeying the instructions of God, Jesus came and obeyed the instructions of the Father and by his obedience to the point of death where he took all of our own weaknesses and the effect of the curse of evil upon our lives and the power of evil over our lives he defeated it and he rose again triumphant over it and he says if we put our faith in him then we can find the power by a commitment to obey the principles of the word of god to destroy the power of sin and evil and what a tremendous feeling of victory when we know that the forces of evil has no power over us and i can testify to that reality and millions of people around the world can declare when we reconnect to a god who is holy and righteous in christ jesus he gives us the power to obey the principles of the word of god to say no to negative thinking no to evil no to wrong desires and yes to truth yes to peace, yes to righteousness, yes to justice. When we are able to do that, real change is taking place on the inside that will break forth on the outside. Commit to experience real change over this season and let's work together then to see real change in our nation as we make our own contribution from a new way of thinking not a selfish sense self-centered thinking but from thinking that considers the best welfare of all let's do that i want to pray for you today because jesus broke the power of the effects of sin of evil and sickness over our lives let's just pray today father in the name of jesus christ i thank you for your death on the cross and the power of your resurrection that has given us the ability by faith in you to have you dwelling in us by your spirit that as we choose to obey your word live by the principles of your word we can overcome evil and walk in righteousness that then your blessing your goodness can rest upon our lives i pray for our viewers today many are suffering from the effect of evil that has trapped us with sickness and disease and lord curses upon their lives spirits that are tormenting them in the name of jesus i pray for your anointing upon their lives now and i break the power of evil over the life of our viewers right now and every spirit of darkness you were defeated by the power of the blood of Jesus and his resurrection power and so I defeat you and command you to go from the lives and the homes of men and women who are listening by faith go from their homes right now and sickness in the body be healed in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord Lord let your healing power just flow through the bodies of your people listening right now. And Lord, restore strength where there is weakness. Sight, Father, where there is blindness and weakness of the eyes. Restore hearing because of the power of your death and resurrection at the first Passover when you came to redeem us through your death on the cross. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, go to work and continue to work that miracle in the lives. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Certainly, call the number on the screen. There was someone waiting to pray with you and to help you 
how to reconnect and to experience real change. Stay with us on the program. We want to be sharing with you a, two parts of a message. We'll do the first part this week and continue it next week. But this is a message that was shared in 2003 titled Kingdom Ambassadorship, but so relevant to us now and what the Spirit of God would say to you. Stay with us for that message. Jamaica. 